Hello and welcome to this Against the Storm tutorial on the playable species. As I mentioned in the introductory tutorial, this series will be covering all aspects of the gameplay, all of the various features and mechanics of the game. Against the Storm has undergone many overhaul changes in its two plus years in early access, and the playable species are no exception. However, now that the game is in version 1.0, we can fully understand and describe how its features work. This tutorial will explain all of the key features of the playable species and provide some tips and tricks along the way. There are five playable species in Against the Storm. You start out with three of them and then unlock the other two while progressing through the upgrades tree. Humans, beavers, and lizards are the starting three species. And then harpies and foxes are unlocked in the upgrades tree. Harpies were added early in the early access period, while it was still an epic exclusive, while foxes were added during the Steam era. But each species brings something different and unique to the game. So we'll go over each species one by one and discuss their attributes, their distinctiveness, and their uniqueness. And then we'll take a look at how, the, how they appear when you're in an actual settlement in the, in the character panel and go over some of the features that are there. The first species is human. An adaptable species, but very susceptible to the rain. Humans are adept at farming, marked by this symbol, and really enjoy brewing, marked by this symbol. They also come with a starting ability, which reveals the location of one of the nearest patches of fertile soil. Their needs fall under three categories, as do all species. The first category is shelter. They're happy with basic housing, but you can provide human-specific housing for much more resolve bonus. They like to eat porridge, biscuits, and pie. However, they will eat other foods if these are unavailable. And for their happiness, they also like to receive clothing, leisure, and religion. The latter two of these are provided as part of a service building. While coats are a little bit unique in this aspect in that they can just be worn from the beginning. So in some ways they function more like food rather than services. Food all provides bonuses to resolve as do all services. Actually all needs being fulfilled provides bonus to resolve. The base resolve for a human is 15. This is where they are if no effects are being applied to them. Their break interval is two minute, every two minutes. They have low resilience. Low resilience means that they react quickly to changes in resolve, both up and down. They are high demanding. High means that they require high resolve to earn reputation from resolve. Decadent, high, the higher number, a higher number, show, determines how much the bar will move after earning reputation from resolve. And finally, hunger tolerance it tells you the number of stacks of hunger a species can withstand. These features or these aspects we will cover in the second half of this tutorial where we show the character panels in the actual gameplay. They'll be more clear there. Beavers. Beavers are hardworking and honest, but also quite demanding. They are gifted woodworkers, shown by this symbol, and enjoy engineering, shown by this symbol. Their starting ability it extends available trade offers by one in each neighboring town. That particular thing will be covered during the trading tutorial. Beavers also are happy with basic housing, but they're even happier with beaver-specific housing. They also like to eat biscuits, but in addition to biscuits, they like pickled goods. They also wear, wear coats for clothing, and they like three services, leisure, education, and luxury. 
Their base resolve is 10, so a little lower than humans. Their break interval is every two minutes, which is the same as humans. They are low resilience, so they react very fast to resolve changes, same as the, similar to the humans. And they're all they're also very high, de highly demanding. So they also require more resolve to generate reputation from resolve. Their decadence, however, is very low. So they need, they do not need as much resolve to generate subsequent reputation points from resolve. And their hunger tolerance is also six stacks. Lizards. Lizards are a very resilient and distrustful species. They are very good with animals and meat production, shown by this symbol, and prefer to work in warm environments due to their cold-blooded nature, this symbol. Their starting ability is they bring 10 tools. They also like basic housing, but they like their own lizard-specific housing much better. Lizards enjoy four different types of foods, jerky, skewers, pie, and pickled goods. While they only enjoy two different types of services, brawling and religion. Their base resolve is only five, much lower than humans and beavers. Their break interval though is much more off, is slightly more often, every minute and 40 seconds. They have a high resilience so they react slowly to changes in resolve, both up and down. And they are moderately demanding, have a medium level, which means while that while they do uh, they do require a little bit of extra reputation to gain to generate sorry, a little bit of extra resolve to generate reputation, it's not nearly as much of a difference as it is with the humans and beavers. Their decadence is a little bit higher at seven. So every time they generate reputation from resolve, full point, that mark will tick up and you will need to have higher resolve in order to generate more reputation. Their hunger tolerance is 12 stacks, twice that of humans and beavers. And so those are the basic three species, the three species the game starts with. The three species you will experience in the tutorial and in your first few maps until you unlock the harpies. Harpies are a noble and fragile species, yet with a primal, aggressive side. They excel at alchemy, shown by this symbol, and love to work with cloth, shown by this symbol. They start the game by bringing 50 coats. As with the other species, the harpies will live in basic housing, but they prefer their harpy-specific housing. They enjoy three different types of foods, jerkies, biscuits, and pie. But of course, they, like the others, will eat any food if these aren't available. Like the humans and beavers, they wear coats, and they also uh, get benefits from two services, education and treatment. Their base resolve is five, the same as the lizards, and their break interval is also one minute 40 seconds, the same as the lizards. Their resilience is low, which means that they react quickly to changes in resolve. Their demand is also low, which means that they do not need a very high resolve to generate reputation from resolve. Their decadence is fairly low, so they do not gain, th their bar does not move very fast, very far, upon each reputation point from resolve gain and their hunger tolerance is only four stacks lower than the other species so far i believe they're actually the lowest of all the species which we will see as we take a look at the foxes the final species added to the game majestic and mysterious creatures deeply bonded with the forest they evolved a symbiosis with blight rot through a long exposure to rainwater which caused some visible side effects Foxes are skilled scouts, shown by this symbol, and feel comfortable working with rainwater, shown by this symbol. They are highly susceptible to starvation. Starting ability, they reveal the location of one of the nearest geysers. Their housing is the same as the other species in that they will live in basic housing, but they prefer fox-specific housing. They like three different types of foods, porridge, skewers, 
and pickled goods, and they enjoy receiving services at th three different of three different types: brawling, luxury, and treatment. Now, if you've been paying attention as we've gone through all five of these, you will notice that there are exactly two species for each one of the services-based needs. That's done by design so that every service can be used in every game, uh, nearly every game, uh, depending on the combination of species that you start each that you get in each map because you will only get three species per town you may have one or possibly two no just one you may have one need that is not actually needed in that town but in some cases in many cases you will actually potentially be able to use all of them depending on the combination of species you have more on the species combination in the embarkation tutorial and in some of the other tutorials as well. The base resolve for foxes is five, which is also low as these other lizards and harpies is. The break interval goes back up to two minutes. They are low resilience, so they react quickly to changes in resolve. They are low demanding, so they're, uh, they do not need as much resolve to earn reputation. Their decadence is five, which is about average. Maybe actually no, they're the high, they're second highest decadence. And their hunger tolerance is three stacks, the shortest, in fact, uh, shorter than even the harpies, uh, before they will, uh, before they will leave. Uh, more on that in the gameplay tutorials as well. So that concludes the kind of overview summary of each of the species. Now let's jump into the game world and take a look at what some of these these features mean in the game itself. Here in an actual town in the game, you have character panels available up here in the top left corner. This will show all of the species that are available to you at that point in that town. Since we are just starting a new town, we only have two of the species available to us, humans and lizards. If you pull out these panels, you will see icons that are reminiscent of the previous screen we were on. But here in the character panel, we have a portrait of an example of that character. Uh, humans, the portrait's always the female. The lizard, well, uh, I don't know whether that's male or a female lizard. Uh, here you will see the resolve, their current resolve, the direction they are heading, and the target resolve, the future resolve is. These alerts and things here. Uh, also, it will show you the amount of reputation that they have gained and what their current reputation threshold is. We learned about these uh, with the uh, resilience, or rather the demanding uh, attribute that is this reputation threshold so humans have a reputation threshold of 30 i believe beavers i believe are the same while lizards reputation threshold is only 15 however since they start out lower it still takes them a lot of effort to get there this bar on the outside of the portrait shows the current reputation sorry the current resolve level in the, in the color of the bar, the current reputation threshold, where the little blue tick is, and then it will, it will eventually fill up and change into a blue color instead of a green color when they pass that line. And that alerts you that they are generating reputation. They're generating reputation from resolve. Alongside that, you have three numbers indicating the number of total population of that species. You have the number of total available builders of that species and the total number of homeless of that species. Since this is the very beginning, everybody is available as a builder and is homeless. In both species, except for one person overall, that person overall is assigned to the ancient hearth as the firekeeper. Lizards uh, are usually the default assigned one if they are in your starting group. However, if they are not, then another race will be chosen in some rank order that I've never actually tried to figure out. These icons here in the middle will show you are, are the icons we saw in the needs panel in that previous window. 
They will light up and show some numbers based on how many of the people are affected by that particular uh, need um, and gaining the benefits of that particular need. If there are no one, if there are none gaining the benefits from that need, they will be gray as you can see here. And then over here, you can also see the total of combined effects of all aspects played upon each of the species. This is an average for all of that species. So this will be an average of all six people, average of all four people, as opposed to a individual specific number. The last icon here is the ability to favor this particular species by giving them an additional five resolve. When they are favored, they will be highlighted with this orange glow and other species will suffer from a five resolve negative hit. There is a 60 second cooldown when you turn off the favoring before you're able to use it again. And you will see that by a clock icon or a clock movement here on the icon itself. You can also see a preview of the effect of clicking just by hovering over that icon. You can see here the humans will go from 16 to 21 and the lizards will go from 7 to 2 by favoring the humans and vice versa by favoring the lizards. In fact, this might be an early way to get the lizards up to a really good reputation to start earning some resolve by favoring them early in the game. Getting them to 15 is not so bad once they have maybe some housing and maybe a little bit of food of some kind. Up here above the character panel is a summary of all characters, all playable characters combined. So we have 10 total, we have 9 that are available as builders, and we have 10 that are homeless. That pretty much covers everything about the playable species in the game. There are a few other aspects that will be covered as part of other tutorials, including those preferences for jobs. The remaining tutorials in the series will also cover other aspects of the game, as I mentioned in the beginning. I want to thank you all for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave those in the comment section below or join me on Discord, the link is also in the description below, and discuss the game with me there. If there are aspects of the playable species that I didn't cover properly, please let me know and I will add pinned comments to the video with any supplemental content. If you have suggestions for other tutorials, feel free to leave those as well. I will also be starting the game over with a fresh save in a new Let's Play series so you can see some practical use of the world map in that series. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.